I guess this is gonna be uh, a bed vlog because I'm tired and I don't feel like putting on clothes and getting out of bed. <laughs> so anyways, one of the other reasons why I'm in Florida <laughs> that uh, if you if you watch and follow my Twitch streams, you already know what's up. If you're one of my patron subscribers, you probably already know what's up. But um, basically, the other reason I came, well, I was coming to Florida anyways for photo shoots, but the reason I'm here for so long, I'm here for like two and a half weeks, is because I am going out to this doctor in Fort Lauderdale, my pre-op consultation appointments tomorrow that's what I'm going to it's like a three hour drive from here um basically I'm getting my boobs fixed my boobies I'm just having I just had an issue with the right one it didn't heal right it kind of like the technical term is that it bottomed out meaning the implant kind of fell through the pocket so it's not super noticeable, um, it's just the right one hangs a little bit lower and so the scar is supposed to be under the crease where you don't see it, but the scar is kind of like up because it fell through, if that makes sense. I didn't even really know something was wrong. I was just tired of the fact that my scar was always showing, especially when I'm trying to do like under boob shots and certain photos. Um, my scar is always showing and that was getting annoying and I was like yo <laughs> like what can I do to fade these scars and I tried to contact my original doctor in Arizona and he has been like he has ignored me he hasn't responded to me at all and I was like what so I started reaching out to other doctors and I saw some of the best doctors that are out here in Florida which is convenient because I come out here to shoot I contacted them and um, yeah, this, this one doctor who's, like, super well-known for fixing, like, problems with breast implants, I contacted him, and he's like, yeah, you're, you have bottoming out, something called double bubble, I don't know what the fuck that is, and, yeah, he's like, and also, he told me that, so, I have textured implants right now, um, textured means they have they just have a like a rougher texture on the outside of the bag thing and it kind of just like it makes them stuck in place like like they don't really move around a lot at all in there they're just kind of like wherever he put them they're they're there they're not moving but because of that kind of implant whenever I like bend over and stuff I have like ripples on the side a little bit and yeah he's like he's like since you're so, like, your your skin is so thin and you didn't have a lot to start with, he's like, I would have never put a textured implant in you. You should definitely get smooth ones. And I was like, ugh. So yeah, there's like several different problems with the ones. I mean, again, they're not bad. I like them. They're awesome. And really, you only can tell the problems if I'm naked which obviously nobody else sees <laughs> except me. I have seen like so many awesome things about this doctor that I'm going to here in Florida. So I pretty much like, I really didn't think too long about it. I was just like, yes, I'm coming to you. I'm going to fly out to you <laughs> in it next month, in a month. So yeah, this all happened really, really fast and ugh. And it sucks because this all happened like literally the week after I quit my government city job to do self-employment. So luckily I, I was responsible and I have a very nice little savings account that I saved up because I knew taxes were coming up and I do have to pay taxes as self-employed this this year so I had made myself a nice little savings for this and then you know just in case something happened like this for example so I do have the money thankfully and I decided to go ahead and get it fixed now rather than 
rather than waiting seems like the best thing to do because again i don't want it to get worse like i'm i'm really open about plastic surgery like i have no shame in the fact that i've had plastic surgery in fact like people always like try to make comments on some of my pictures and things like oh fake boobs and you know acting like i'm hiding it or i'm lying about it but actually if you scroll back um through on my Twitter and my Instagram. Let's see, when did I get my boobs? Oh God, when did I get my boobs? I got them in like 20, July 2014, I think. So yeah, it's almost been three years. So if you go back to my Instagram and my like Twitter feed back three years ago, I totally was open about it. I said I got it done. I even posted pictures and I posted like before and after and stuff like that so it's kind of funny when people try to make mean comments like it's gonna hurt my feelings or I'm like too ashamed to talk about it when actually I'm very open about it and I don't care at all and I don't do things like this because I'm like insecure and trying to make up for something it's just I want to I want to look like my ideal body, I guess, you know? Um, I, I started out with zero boobies, and I like boobs. I think boobs are awesome, especially fake boobs, to be honest. Like, I actually like the look of fake boobs more than real boobs. I like how, like, high and perky and round they are, and yeah, I started out with nothing, and now I got these babies. I'll go into more of the details about like the different kind of implants and what like size and everything I'm getting because I actually haven't even decided that yet. I guess I should have mentioned that too. Um, yes, the main reason I'm going to get my surgery is because I need something fixed, obviously. Like there's something wrong and it needs to be fixed. But since I'm going to be going and doing it, I figure I might as well go a little bit bigger because... Um, the thing is, when I got my first implants, I had wanted, I think I wanted like, when I tried on the sizers, I wanted 550 cc's. And I know you probably don't even know what I'm talking about when I say that number, but just, yeah, I'll make another video on that. So I wanted 550, but the doctor said the most I could have is like, I have 440 cc's, so that's a hundred less than what I wanted, because he said, you know, this is my first ever set, um, and that's literally all <laughs> as big as he could fit in there, because when you start off with nothing, especially when you go under underneath the muscle, it will only stretch so much, so this is as big as he could put in there, but this is not the size I wanted, I wanted more than that. I know you guys must be thinking already, you're crazy, they're already like really big, but hear me out. Like, right now, right now for example, this is a padded bra, and I have chicken cutlet things stuffed in here. Hold on. Try not to show my nipple. So look, I have this stuffed in there. Look how big this is. This is huge. This is a huge chicken cutlet bra stuffer. Whenever you guys see my boobs in pictures, even now with the implants, I'm still wearing freaking push. Okay, here's boob with the chicken cutlet and the push up bra. Here's without the chicken cutlet. If you're thinking, oh my god, this girl's crazy, her boobs are already huge. No, it's because I still stuff and like wear padded bras because like I said my boobs never got quite as big as I wanted although I am happy with them I mean honestly like if I if I didn't need the revision thing for the bottoming out and the scars and everything I would never be having this surgery trust me <laughs> I would not be paying another ten thousand dollars simply just to go up like a little bit in size. It's not even worth it and it doesn't bother me that bad. Anyways, I can't ramble on anymore because 
it's almost 3.30 and I have to wake up in a few hours. And like, when do I have to wake up? I'm only going to get like five hours of sleep and that sucks, so. Ugh. That's a long way to go. Wait, because David, his phone sucks. It's not my fucking phone, your directions suck. I got an apple. <laughs> <laughs> she cuts it off before I can say anything, I bet. No, it's so good. Are you trying to show off the new uh, Samsung S8? No. Show off. I noticed you're using your I noticed you're using your camera instead of the iPhone. Look what time we're gonna be there. Right on time. Hey. I'm gonna have you fill out forms when you first walk in there anyway. I feel more bad for myself. I'm the one that's out of soda pop now. I have to pee. I gotta go pee. You that always sucks. try to copy me when I have to pee. Get my shirt. Look at her boobs. Do my boobs look big yet? Oh yeah, they're fucking huge. You don't need any work. You are all good. Woo! Go in there and ask them for the free lollipop. Let's get the fuck on. <laughs> so we're all finished up. I went to the doctor. It was super, super fast. Like I literally was there like an hour and then we were already coming back. Um, because we were gonna go to like the Japanese garden after and get some photos of my Morgan cosplay but apparently they close really early at like 4 30 so by the time I got out of the doctor it was 3 30 so now we can't go there so we're just gonna go home <laughs> and shoot more in the studio I guess yeah so basically uh, I went back there he took photos of me measured me and then basically just asked me um, or he told me what all he would do and then he asked me what size I wanted which I'm still like debating I don't know um but yeah I'm still thinking about it now I have to go get a snack David's nav system sounds like a boy band come on say it say it shit turn left <laughs> and then turn right <laughs> I'm glad you get a kick out of it. <laughs> the ticket. That's the ticket that I got it. I put on a thing. Oh, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's your receipt back. What is this for? That's your stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here's my blockbuster card. <laughs> Alright, 190 you change. Thanks. What a dork. Did you record that? Yeah. You little dork. <laughs> also keep right, keep right. Keep right. Keep on, keep on, keep on writing on. In half a, a mile, mile. Exit okay, right. right. <laughs> Did you do it? Good. The 95's right there. Right where? Up there. <laughs> In 0 0.1 right miles. miles. Exit right. right. Exit right <laughs> in zero point one miles. He bled. <laughs> he bled. I know the lyrics to this song. He bled. He bled. So dumb. Now what? Are we going right? <laughs> This is the time for the shoot, 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. This is when we should be shooting. Seems to be the good spot. But, I don't know if that sun's behind you or if it's in front of you. If it's in front of you, it kind of fucks things up. Yeah, because we'd be on... You'd have the sun in your face and we'd want the sun yeah. in your hair. I think all of those... Time to get some food! It's so pretty. Do, do, do. 
to drink this early. Okay, this. Pina colada. So good. Pretty.